Hey everybody, it's Second Chance Adventures. Today is day number 156 after having gastric bypass surgery. I am pretty in pink today. The really interesting thing is I never wore pink ever. The last time I would say I wore something that was pink was when I went to prom and that was 13 years ago when I was 16. And actually it was April 18th, um, 2009. Yes, 2009 when I was 16. I went to prom, had my day, it was fun. That's the last time I wore anything with pink. It was a white dress and it had pink flowers on it. And that night was kind of weird because when I was younger, I always imagined prom being different. I thought, you know, all the girls wore long dresses and they had their hair done and they looked really nice. But it turns out prom is not like that anymore. So nowadays prom is like all the chicks are wearing really short dresses, like all the way up to their cheeks, like the bottom of their cheeks, which is okay you know and they have these really ridiculous high heels on like okay um guys don't like when i went to prom guys did not dress up they looked terrible wearing jeans and like shirts and they weren't even tucked in no tie and it's like this isn't what prom was supposed to look like you know like looking back at like my mom's time when she was a teenager like they looked great you know, and I went to prom and I was completely disappointed. Like, this is trash. And then I thought, maybe it's just my school that's doing this. So I happened to, like, talk to other people when I was in high school and, uh, like, other kids that went to different schools. Like, hey, take a picture when you're at prom. Let me see what everybody else was dressed like. Same thing. Seems like everybody was dressed really terribly. Like, a lot. Now, not all of them. Because some of them wore appropriate attire, but not a lot. So, like, a lot of the females were, like, wearing really slutty outfits and just making it look obvious that they wanted to look slutty. Like, uh, what are you doing? And a lot of guys, like, didn't fix their hair or, you know, wore wrinkly clothes and the jeans were all baggy. And it's like, this is prom, dude. What are you doing? Like, you only get, like, one or two chances to do this. Like, dress up and look better. What is going on? I don't know, times have changed. I wish I could be, wish I was back in my parents' time where everybody dressed nice and looked nice and looked appropriate. But you know, it's not that way anymore. Unfortunately, everything's backwards. But that's just my thought of the day. But yes, uh, I never wore pink. The other reason why I didn't wear pink is because when I was younger, like a really small child, because I started gaining weight when I was about seven or eight years old. It wasn't so bad, but it's like when I got to like 10 and 11 is when it really just hit the roof. And uh, a lot of times when I would get dressed, because you know, when you're a kid, you wear what your parents get you because you don't work, you can't buy your own clothes. And when I would wear anything that had pink on it or it was really feminine or something like that, like kids would really make fun of me and say, oh, you're too fat to wear those kind of colors or you're too fat to wear clothes like that. You should wear something that's long sleeve or a jacket all the time. And you should probably wear the hood over your head too so it'll cover up part of your face, you know, that kind of thing. Because you're just ugly, you're fat and all that kind of thing. I mean, stuff like that hurts people's feelings. And I know that they were just kids, but when you're at that age as well, it really crushes you and it makes you feel like crap. It does. You know, and I don't know about other school places and districts and whatever, but, you know, the school system that I came from in this city is complete trash. Um, I got bullied from the second grade all the way till the beginning of ninth grade. And it doesn't matter what happened, not one person ever did anything to stop it. They put no effort, zero effort whatsoever. I mean, I know that there are documents of me telling them things that students were doing, not just to me, but to other students, and nothing ever got done, and I hate that so much. So because of that, I never dressed up at school or really anywhere I went because I knew I was fat, and not just that, but the fatter you get, the harder it is to find clothes that fits you and look nice at the same time, unless you're going to pay a buku a bunch of money, which I do not have. So I never dressed up never ever dressed up I just wore jeans like black shirts and jackets and a pair of Converse and you know what that's what I like anyways because I'm not out every day with the goal of trying to dress with name brand clothes and carry name brand you know purses and have fake lashes and fake nails I'm not about that I'm really not that's not part of my personality my personality is just making sure that I go to work I go to school I'm finished with school I graduate, I have a nice job, I have a nice house to live in, I have excellent credit score, 
Those are like, those are the things I'm worried about in retirement. After that, I don't care. Like I could be bald and I wouldn't care. I could have completely like no eyebrows and I would be fine. That kind of thing. I mean, right now I only have like three outfits that, you know, fit as of my size now after losing weight. All the other ones I need to like sew them to where they'll fit better and, you know, not be so baggy, which is a good thing. But, um, it's cool wearing pink today because, you know, I mean, I'm not a fashion expert, but I don't think it really goes the best with, like, my skin tone. But, you know, it's okay, whatever. It's nice out, it's sunny and warm, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Something new, just going out, you know, in a tank like this, and it's pink, you know, and, um, it just, when I put it on, I just kind of started thinking about all the times, like, as a kid and a teenager where kids would, like, make fun of me for being fat and just say, oh, you look gross, you should wear stuff like that. I just think to myself now, like, number one, look at you now, you know, for them. And then I think, hey, look at you now, looking at me. Because what's really interesting, I don't know about you guys, but I believe in karma. I really do. I believe that something you do to somebody will happen to you too. I really do. So I'm not going to name names particularly, but let's, I'm going to do the initials. One particular person who used to make fun of me all the time. His initials was R.C. Okay. And I knew this person in the 8th grade, and I knew him in ninth grade, and then after ninth grade, he kind of, like, disappeared. I don't know where he went, don't really care. Um, but he used to make fun of me all the time for being fat. And the thing is, he thought he was just a hot platter. But to me, I thought he was ugly. He was so ugly, I did not find him attractive at all. Not just that, but because of his academics and the way he presented himself and the way he poorly spoke English made it even worse. That's one thing about me. You could be ugly. You really could be ugly. But if you're intelligent and you take care of business and you present yourself well and you speak proper English with grammar, like, I will find you so attractive. That's just me. I would rather have somebody like that than have someone who's just a hot stub, who's an idiot and dresses trashy and barely speaks correct English. I mean, that right there is a huge turnoff. That and just being a mama's boy. I'm sorry. Mama's boys are, no, can't do that. No, 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 no. But anyways, back to the story. So RC used to make fun of me all the time for like two years for being fat and not being able to wear nice clothes. And what's interesting is that I ended up uh, seeing him in public, like in my early 20s. And he was fatter than I've ever been in my whole life. He was huge. You know, and when I saw him, the first thing I wanted to do was go up to him and call him all the names he used to call me and say all the things he used to call me and grab me the way he would do and make all these noises and stuff. But then I thought, nah, he's getting his punishment now. Look at him. He can barely walk and he barely could. He looked like he needed like a cane to walk with because he just couldn't keep a very good balance because this boy blew up like a balloon. I mean, it was bad. I almost felt sad for him in a way. But then I thought, no, because that's not what the good Lord would do. The good Lord would just say, just let it go. Walk away and just finish what you're doing with your day. Okay? And that's what I did. But, yeah, I just saw him like, wow. And you used to make fun of me all the time for being huge. And you're bigger than I ever was. What happened? He had to be at least a good 420 pounds. <laughs> I've never even made it to 400 pounds. This boy blew up. You know, and I'm not trying to talk trash. I'm really not. But I do think karma is a real thing. I really do. I think, like, if you make fun of somebody for being bald because they had cancer, I think it's going to happen to you, too. I really do. I think that stuff like that's real. I do. But, uh, wow. <laughs> I've come a long way. Not just the surgery, but since a child. When I was younger um, in school, I was the Carrie White at school. I mean, kids were, were, were vicious to me all the time, you know. And there was, there was actually one point where, like, after high school, somebody messaged me and said, you know, I'm really glad you didn't, like, shoot up to school or something. And it's like, I wasn't going to do it. But, you know, who would have blamed me because all the stuff they had done all the years but, you know, whatever. That's a long time ago. Kids are dumb. Teenagers are dumb. We're all dumb in our life at one point or another. So, you know, I'm no saint. You know, I've made errors in life. And because of that, I had to have surgery to fix one of them. But whatever. But that's all I really have today. Today was just kind of a, a 
chat, like a let's go back in time and talk about something and talking about my pink shirt. Um, another reason why I never really wore pink is because I've always been a tomboy anyways. Even like before I got fat, like five and six or so, I was always a tomboy. Like I wanted to go outside. I wanted to run around. I wanted, we had like a dirt hill in the back, you know, I wanted to go play there and ride bikes and, you know, play baseball out in the field. I wanted to do stuff like that. And like when my parents would get me all dressed and dolled up, I would look at the mirror and go, you know, do the whole. But I only went with it and act like I liked it because, you know, it made my parents happy, you know, and I don't want to disappoint my parents. But on the inside, I, I did not enjoy it. I was like, get this crap off me. I want to go outside. I want to put my jeans back on. I want to put my jacket back on and go outside and play with the kids in the neighborhood or whatever. Um, I've always been a tomboy. Now, I know people, like, who lose all the weight, they say, I'm going to dress up more feminine. I'm going to dress up and, you know, put a lot of gel on my hair and fix myself up. And that's great. But see, my looks, the way I look as in dressing or hairstyle does not say who I am, though. Me, it's just about, you know, taking care of business and getting things done and at the end of the day knowing that I'm going to be all right. That's all I'm worried about. I'm not worried about what kind of clothes I'm wearing. As long as it's washed, I don't care. You know, my hair, I don't care what style it really is. As long as it's brushed and it's washed and I don't have lice or something, I don't care. Stuff like that. Some people do and that's, that's great. If you want to wear certain clothes, that's great. It's a way to express yourself. It's just not one for me. And people have told me, yeah, you know, when you lose all that weight, you're going to go shopping. You're going to buy all this stuff. And I'm thinking, no, I'm not. Because <laughs> I'm not worried about stuff like that. Because number one, I'm a tomboy. And number two, I don't care. But you know, to each their own. But today was just a little chat. I hope to see you guys soon. Have a good rest of the day. Bye.